morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to this week's hand sealer art video. Today's video, I'm painting Timothy Chalamet. Chal Chamel Cham Ch I don't know. I really struggle to pronounce his surname, but I think you know who he is. Hopefully, maybe. Anyway. I saw him in a movie called A Rainy Day in New York and I really loved that movie actually and I loved, actually I loved the styling, the art direction, that was gorgeous, oh anyway, losing track. Today I'm painting Timothy, I'm gonna call him Chalamet, hopefully that's correct, Co yeah someone, maybe, I don't know. So today I'm painting Timothy, it's an oil painting on masonite board, I actually I wanted to get back into oil painting, I haven't used it in quite some time and since I've started my YouTube channel I've been testing out more stuff and getting back into old things and I posted a oil painting video the other day of a seascape and I really enjoyed working with oils, it just, they're so much fun and the colours are so vibrant and they're so versatile and so I wanted to do another oil painting. When I actually had this idea to paint Tim Tim Timely, <laughs> Timothy I was, it was actually like, what time was it maybe? It was like half past nine at night and I watched a TikTok video with him in it and I was like, oh, let me totally just paint him. Also, I needed a video for this week and I started painting him and yeah, I'm actually really stoked with how it came out. It was really fun and playing with the different paints and yeah, it was a fun experiment. I had no idea what I was going for for this painting. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be nice and wispy, I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be realistic and so I kind of did this sort of mix of kind of looking realistic and then also having like this sort of abstracty like just fun expressionistic sort of style like added into it as well. So it's kind of just like a mix of random stuff and I don't really know what it's going to look like at the end and I had no sort of direction, I was just having fun mixing colours, playing with all sorts of paint on my palette so it was really just a fun video that I wanted to do. I must say I absolutely love how the crimson turned out in his shirt like the color is just beautiful. I'm not a big fan of pink but I think for this artwork like I just really loved how gorgeous and rich and vibrant the crimson was and then his eyes as well are just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was actually really happy with how his eyes came out. I wasn't too happy with his lips, so I need to fix and adjust them. But you know, you live and learn, and I was having fun. And yeah, I also, once I finished this thing, I wanted to do a background, and I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. I wanted to do kind of like an abstract thing, or maybe I wanted to like brush over his face, like across his face, but like either in like a sap green or like a beautiful custard yellow. And so I decided to go in with a custard yellow, like a nice buttery, like beautiful yellow. <laughs> and I had no idea what I wanted to do, so I just got my palette knife and just started playing around and like plonking the paint over the board and at first I wasn't a fan of it at all I didn't like it at all and I was like Hannah what have you done but then I went and started scraping bits off of the yellow where it was like clumped up and I did feel a lot better after that so yeah I was just adding in last little final details and touches and I started adding yellow into his coat as well just to kind of bring it in from the background because I felt like the background was a bit overbearing and it, it was too overpowering and it didn't like link through into his shirt. So after I'd done all of those little mini changes and paint splotches, I left it to dry for a couple of days just so it would get tacky enough that I can work back into it and I wanted the background to obviously be in the background. So after a few days later, I went back in and did the hair again but on top of the background and I was also working on his lips and his facial features and his eyes. I just felt that I could have made his eyes pop a little bit more, they just felt a little bit flat to me and I was just adding in a few more highlights especially under his eyes and on his nose. I also just added a few highlights to his hair and added a bit more texture there. 
After I'd finished these last few little detail uh, things, <laughs> I was at a happy stage with it and so yeah, I ended it off there and I finished up. I was actually pretty impressed with how this came out in the end, especially since I had no idea what I was going for in the beginning and I wasn't too sure what I actually wanted to have as the end result. But looking back over everything, I am really stoked and I like that I've included more than one sort of style in this painting and I got to try out painting on this mason art board that I picked up so really happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe if you did and check out the final portrait on Instagram as well. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next week Monday.